Okay, now I'm going to sew the crown sections of the hat to the hat band. I pinned them in the previous video. And I've already sewn one side so that once I sew the second side we can go on to inserting the straps. So I have the hat band piece on top, the crown piece with the pleats is underneath, and I'm going to start at one of the corners. I'm sewing at 3 eighths of an inch. If you can see a 4 on the machine there, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's the quarter inch mark, but my needle is shifted over to the left, so the total is 3 eighths of an inch. So starting at the corner, I'll stitch, back stitch a little bit. And this is the area where I might need to stretch it slightly. Keeping my raw edges even and keeping it lined up with that line on the bed of my sewing machine that tells me where my 3 8 of an inch seam allowance is. It is. I'm going to stop at that first pin, adjust it a little bit, make sure my edges are even. And then sew up to the first notch. Got a little bit uneven there. Okay, so now that I'm at the first side notch, I come to the section where the hat band is quite straight and the crown is curved. So I'm going to sew this in, in small sections. I'm just going to line up my edges for about an inch, hold it with my finger, make sure I'm on the 3 8 inch line, stop and adjust after that inch. Readjust so that the raw edges line up. So another inch or so. Check again and I'm coming up to the pin for the center front. Make sure that's all lined up. And sew up to that pin. Okay, now I'm Center front to the second side notch, again a straight area on the hat band to the curved area on the crown. So line up the edges for about an inch, stitch, stop, line up my edges again, always keeping the edge against that mark on the sewing machine that gives me my 3 8 inch seam allowance, stitch that inch, stop again. Check the alignment and stitch to that pin with the second side notch. Now I've gotten around to where the band and the crown both have a similar curve. Bend maybe a little bit shorter, but I can. Keep my edges lined up, and as I sew, the feed dogs on the machine are easing that in. Okay, now I'm at the area where they're both on an angle or the bias, and I can hold them flat, stretch a little if I need to, and sew to that other corner. Back stitch at the end. And cut it, pull it, cut it, and finish it. Okay, so I've sewn both crown pieces to the hat band, and what I have looks like a bag, but we don't want a bag, we want a hat. We also want a hat with straps. So I've already finished the straps. I can do another separate video on making the straps. But they have one, there's two straps, they each have a one finished end and one unfinished end. So I want the unfinished end in the seam. The finished end is going to end up on the outside, but to start with it's going to go on the inside. So here's the key part. 
We previously pressed, or should have pressed, a fold into the hat band. And that's where we're going to fold it backwards on that fold now. And that brings the seams between the hat band and the crown together. And a little trick that I learned from quilting, if you push one set of seams one way and the back side set of seams the other way, then those seams will line up perfectly or nest together. And I'm going to put a pin there to hold that. Now I've got this fold in the hat band. That's where the strap goes. So I take my strap, the finished end or the nice end of the strap gets pushed in there all the way in. Sorry, I might have this out of focus a little because I've got to pick it up and shake it to get it in there. The whole strap goes up inside the hat for now. The raw end of the strap lines up with the raw edges of that bottom part of the hat band and you tuck it right in up against that fold. Put a pin in it. Then you go over to the other side. Okay, The hat band goes all the way around and the other side of it, the other part of the fold, is now at the other end of this. So same thing. That was the fold that I pre-pressed. Here are the seams between the hat band and the crown. So I'm going to push one one way. I'm going to push the one on the back the other way. Get those seams lined up and pin. And then I'm going to stuff that other strap inside there. I could do this stuffing part first before I pin it, but I wanted to do it so you can see where I'm putting it. Okay, so the strap is all up inside there and it's flat against the fold. That's the raw end of the strap even with the raw edges of that lower curved edge and pin. Okay, so it's all inside out right now. I'm going to want to turn it right side out and then the straps will pop out in the right place. So I have to leave this center section unsewn right now. I'll sew that after I turn it right side out. So I'm going to start at one folded edge. My same 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Back stitch there. So I'm stitching through that folded hat band and the strap that's inside. Stitch over the strap and I'm going to stitch just past where that pin is. Back stitch, a couple of stitches to secure it. And then I'm going to cut my threads. My machine has an automatic cutter. If you don't, then you'll raise your presser foot and cut it with scissors. Then I'm going to skip that center portion because I want to leave that open and I'm going to come over to just before the pin where the other two seams line up. Start, do a back stitch to secure it and then stitch the 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance over to the second fold. It's now, it's going through the strap on the other side, back stitch that, and cut. I'll do it this way this time. So pull it out and cut. Now, here's the fun part. I've got that opening in the middle. It's not very big, but if we do it a bit at a time, it'll all come out. It's a lot like making a handbag. There's always something to turn right side up when you're done. Or if you make stuffed animals. Okay, so it's still just a great big blob. But there are my straps. So I'm going to gently pull on those 